What do I do if I have low ovarian reserve? If you have been told that you've got low egg numbers, or you're just wondering what is your actual egg numbers, follow us today and watch this video. We're going to talk about this topic. So before we start, what do we mean by low egg reserve? Let's talk about what is egg reserve. We know that women are born with a certain number of eggs, roughly around 2 million when you're born. By the time you reach puberty, probably there'll be around 400 to 500,000. Now, when you try to fall pregnant or you're trying to check your fertility, the doctors might order a certain blood test or an ultrasound. The blood test is called AMH, an anti-malarian hormone. This hormone is produced by your body and tells us roughly how many eggs are left in the ovary. We know roughly when you reach puberty, they're 500,000. When we reach toward menopause, they keep dropping and dropping and dropping. So this level of hormone will tell us roughly what is your egg reserve numbers. We can combine that with another test like an ultrasound and we keep counting small bubbles in the ovary. And that tells us also how many eggs are left in the ovary. What is your egg reserve? And generally, when you think about it, I mean, if you have 500,000 eggs, you don't ovulate all of those eggs because basically you ovulate one egg a month that equates 12 eggs each year. So between the age of, say, you reach poverty between the age of 10 and the period stops at the age of 50, that's 40 years of your lifetime that you're ovulating. If you multiply 40 years of ovulation, each year is 12 eggs, it's 480 eggs. Where does the rest of those eggs go? got 499,000. And that's what we mean by the egg reserve. Each month, actually, your body produces a group of eggs. They range between 10, 40 to 50. One of them will ovulate. Sometimes two will ovulate. That's how people get twins. And the rest will die off. When we measure the egg reserve tells us what is your capacity or the number of eggs that you produce at each month, this group of eggs. Are they in the lower range, five to six, or in the higher range, 50 to 60? And that's basically what the test tells us. So the next question that comes up, well, can I fall pregnant with this low egg numbers? Absolutely. I mean, the egg numbers only tells you you've got how, how many eggs you've got in the ovary. It tells you nothing about the egg quality. And we know that egg quality is more important than the egg quantity. Unfortunately, we don't have a test that tells us what is the current egg quality or your egg quality. But we know that it's closely related to age. So the younger you are, the better quality of eggs, regardless of the egg numbers. After all, naturally you ovulate only one egg a month. And we know roughly the chances of falling pregnant each month you try is one in six. So the roll of the dice. And this has nothing to do with your egg reserve. Fertility specialist is the best equipped medical professional that can give you advice about your current fertility, your future fertility. And it can open the discussion about how do you envision your family, the size of the family, and when to start having this family. Now, you'll say, well, if I got a low ovarian reserve, are there any treatments available? Well, it depends on where are you mentally, socially, financially, relationship, and then we can formulate a plan. So if you're not ready to start a family and you haven't found the uh, right partner, uh, we could freeze the eggs. So we freeze them for future use and that's called fertility preservation. The second option, well, if you have a partner uh, and I've got lower egg reserve, but really you want to have three kids and you're currently around 37 or 38. So probably it would be a good idea to have a chat with us and then we discuss with you how we can maximize the chances for you not only to start your family, but help you complete this family. And that way comes the role of IVF and maybe embryo banking for future use. At the end, I mean, if we got very low egg reserve and almost none left in the ovary, we could try some modalities to stimulate the ovary to produce any egg. And unfortunately, if that doesn't yield any response, then we're left with an option of an egg donor. 
Egg donors are available uh, and we've got multiple sources here at IVF Australia that could provide you with eggs. Mm. There is a condition called premature ovarian failure. And that what happens when women, when they're younger, but the ovary stops producing any eggs due to very low egg count. And unfortunately, this is a condition that might be related to certain genes that we haven't discovered yet. And sometimes they're related to certain uh, hormonal imbalances. A good position to see a fertility specialist. We know that around 10% of those women will resume ovulating a certain time of their life. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment if you got any questions.